So I recently got this little kit. I haven't even unwrapped it yet. Again, it's another eBay buy. So let's take a look at it. Can you guess where it is that? <laughs> anyway, here we go. Some lovely box art. It is a uh, Nausicaa's gunship from uh, Nausicaa in the Valley of the Wind. Nausicaa in the Valley of the Wind says there and down there, gunship of the Valley of the Wind. This is a Bandai kit. Studio Ghibli says there, made in Japan, Bandai 2004, so it's an old kit. And being Bandai, I'm wondering if it is a uh, clip together kit. We'll find out soon later. Then. A little Studio Ghibli sticker right there. I like it. Anyway, so on this side, you've got the usual stuff. Let's have a little zoom into me. There, there, that's better. So, pictures of the built kit. Comes with a stand, I believe, front view, rear view, some stuff in Japanese. Apparently, you can have it with the gear up or gear down. Got the pilot, well, the gunner who sits at the front there, and the pilot who sits at the back. Yeah. So, on this side, what does it say? No, it's called the Valorant, Gunship of the Valorant, number three, 170 second scale, Stage Ghibli. On here, there's lots of stuff in Japanese that I, unfortunately I cannot read. Uh, but there's nice, another nice picture of the kit. And back to the same again. So, inside, we have two bags of sprues. This one has two sprues. One is that uh, strange creamy yellow, and the other one is brown and grey and this one is mostly creamy yellow only creamy yellow let's face it <coughs> and you have the uh, manual top of the very simple straightforward yeah and yes it is a clip together kit this Bit here is interesting to me. See me a little bit. Because it looks like you've got the, uh, the gunner seat with the, what appears to be two massive guns on the side of the uh, seat. And uh, looking at this like tiny picture here, it looks pretty complicated and uh, very nicely detailed just there. So that's one for the painting because it's it'll be visible from the outside because it got these big windows there so let's see uh first row forward start with the cockpit front and back pilot figures crew rather and just stick the bits in together pop the wings together pop the wings onto the vehicle it's got a piece of pausable bits there uh, ailerons, what do you call them on this thing? I don't know. And then put the wheel, and then put the undercarriage on, or build the undercarriage and put it on. So you have the choice of, uh, as I mentioned before, you have the choice of uh, gear up or gear down. Anyway, and over here you've got this just one colour and uh, but again, I wish I could see what this all said because it looks interesting. So that's the Bandai. Before we go into the parts, let's look at this. This is a. Uh, can get into it. Same. Vehicle again from North Carolina Valorant. Again, on this one, everything apart from these bits is in Japanese and uh, different box art. Uh, this is a uh, again, what's the second scale kit? Which the other one is as well. Hobby plastic model kit, series number three. So, on this side, you've got the uh, similar thing, little. Uh, Nausicaa's icon picture with the little fox 
squirrel, squirrel fox creature. Uh, the vehicle there, some text there on this side. Series number three, NW3600. Images from the film. And back to that side. So how different is this? Now I bought this kit years ago, probably 20 years ago, 25 years ago probably, at a uh, sci-fi convention. Back in the days when the conventions I went to had uh, um, dealer's rooms. And this is... that's annoying. Power off. So basically I've had this hanging around for probably a couple of decades. Uh, I haven't got a date on it because I don't know so I don't know which convention I bought it at. It's probably a, it could have been a, an anime convention if it was. The last anime convention I went to was when was it 2000 and, no it wasn't it's was 1997 so it might not have been that one it could have been that or, or could have been one of the Star Trek conventions that I've been to before or since as I can't remember which but anyway have a quick look at the manual. Unlike the Bandai, this one by Tsukuda Hori. Where is it? Where does it say? Because it's somewhere there. It is. Tsukuda Hori. This is a, a traditional glue up kit. Uh, two sprues, as you can see in there. Everything in a language I don't read. But the instructions are fairly straightforward. Uh, Fairly similar, slightly less detailing in the instruction manual, even though the instructions are bigger, easier to read. Unlike the Bandai, these clear parts go in from the inside, while on the Bandai they're fitting on the outside. Uh, rear landing gear, down or up. So it looks like you've got the choice of both, or maybe. You don't have to glue in at all. I'll see. What's the other bits? Got a couple of uh, fins that go under the aircraft. Got a nice picture there that shows you how to make sure that they're aligned and which one goes on which side. Uh, like the Bandai, you have pausable ailerons on the uh, wings. And that's it. You also got a stand as well. Let's see if we can compare the contents of these two boxes. So, I have been in here before, this is the uh, security kit. Or have I? Is this a new piece of solitaire? It probably is. Let's cut that. Two sprues. Made in Japan. Um, trying to see if we can find a date on this. There's a. This will need some cleanup on the uh, some of the smaller parts, particularly the pilot figures. Oops. Glass bits, which are. We'll look at this later. What have you got? Uh, two sprues plus one, wings on one, everything else on the other, and the uh, transparency bits on the uh, little transparent sprue. So let's compare that with the Bandai. Let's start with the wings, shall we? Now the Bandai is a lot newer than the other one, I believe. So, the wings, Bandai wings, again it's a strange banana, lemon, creamy yellow. Um, cut that one around. So the Bandai looks slightly different. 
in this side by side. It's not working, is it? <laughs> uh, interesting how they made this one. You got uh, this offset thing to maintain the curve in the wings. There's some cleanup required on the uh, Sukuda. The Bandai is near perfect, I'd say. On the other side, because the Bandai is a, is a clip together kit, so the mounting parts are quite big. The mating parts are quite large. Well, on this one, it's fairly small, straightforward. Uh, the biggest mounting parts in the inner wing are for the undercarriage. That's the smaller differences. Over here, you can see the uh, that's got a straight line there with uh, three spaces. Well, on the Secuda, it's there's a, a definite gap. Mm -hmm. As as I recall from watching the movie, the uh, engines that push this aircraft forward are actually in the wings itself, and they come out through these areas. So be interesting to see how it compares when they're all built together. So here we have a sprue from the uh, Bandai, sprue B2, which has the uh, moving wing parts. How do they compare with the Secuda? The uh, same size, you should expect. And uh, so these are just flat. There's no detail on them at all. Or the Bandai has a little groove in them. If you can see that, you can just about make it out there. You've got that line to mark the three sections of the uh, thing. While these are just perfectly flat. We also have the uh, undercarriage bits here. So the Bandai bits are a bit a little bit smaller, or rather a little bit shorter, but you're talking about a millimetre, two millimetres. Not something that's going to be noticed, well I noticed it, so it is noticeable, <laughs> but uh, not that noticeable. Uh, so those are those, those, those parts. I shall continue with the rest of the Bandai bits, because which means breaking into this bag here. Uh, now Bandai being the masters of trickery that they are, you've got three colours on this, the grey there, which is the internal bits inside the cockpit, and you've got the uh, balls. Let's compare the glass bits first, shall we? Uh, where are the others? Oh, I lost them right. Interestingly enough, oh, there's more glass bits here, <laughs> I didn't notice it. So let's look at the bubbles. Zini. So the Bandai bubbles look, they do look a lot nicer than the uh, Secuda. Secuda here, Bandai the other ones there. So these bits sticking out of the uh, Secuda ones are for mounting it on the inside so you'd have a bit of a glue on that. Uh, the Bandai is uh, clipped together so you don't have to put any glue on it, so so basically that I'll have to make right into there. Be a tricky fit, but... Mm -hmm. So you've also got the uh, little windscreens for the uh, pilots. Interestingly enough, there's three versions on the Bandai but only two on the Sukuda, and uh, I'm not sure which match with which. It may be that one's a substitute for another. I'll have to see you find out later. Right, so I'll put that aside. It's complicated. So look at the bodywork. So the Bandai being Bandai is near perfect, perfectly crisp mold lines, 
no flash visible that I can see anywhere. Uh, the Secuda, slightly different story, there's a bit of flash around the edges, but on the back there. And uh, yeah, it's looking at it from the side, it looks like a squid. <laughs> Just notice that. Uh, it looks like the uh, where the wing fits to the body. Uh, there's more, there's more space for it to fit in on the Bandai than on the Sakuda. Then you've got all this area to glue, so that's uh, understandable. What other bits can I are of interest to me? The wheels. So looks like the undercarriage. You've only got the choice to have them up. Sorry, to have them down on the Sakuda. Unless to have them open you to cut them off and break them out. But the uh, same parts on the Bandai are supremely crisp and clear. The detailing of those is pretty nice. So you've got the choice of the gear down or gear up. And then you've got the uh, pallet figure, I can't remember his name. Nausicaa there herself. Painting that is going to be difficult. Very difficile. So if you can get how close can you get to this? Uh -huh. Go there. Focus there, camera. So yeah, painting these little faces is going to be very tricky. So we'll see if I can do it. But uh, yeah, so uh, pretty much goes without saying that the uh, Bandai kit is much better detail than the uh, Sakuda. But then this is, you know, a good 20 years older than this one, so yeah, things have changed quite a bit in the modeling world since then. So, so the part, the seats for example, look a bit, it's only here. Yeah, it looks a bit mm. Yeah, it looks a bit horror. <laughs> looks a bit awful yeah, to me anyway. Uh, well, the same seats on the Bandai. Super clean and crisp and very nice. I'm just wondering how the... Uh, Pilot figure is fitted into the seat because he doesn't appear to. Oh, yeah, so right, so that's the back seat, so he goes into there. This is the front seat where she sits into that. So, for another thing I'd like to point out, these parts here on the Bandai, which I think are guns, compare them with the same thing on the Suguda. There's one there, to wrap around. So, certainly one of the biggest differences is in the uh, little figures. Zoom in again. So if you compare the two there, so that's Nausicaa right there. And that's his, uh, the other Nausicaa. After this strap here, the paws on him uh, on the Sakuza is a bit uh, more jaunty. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, so the detailing on the little figures on the Bandai all the way around, particularly on the little detail parts, is uh, much, it is what you'd expect with the modern Bandai figure model kit rather. While the Sakuza being 20 25 years old at this point is possible, you know. Uh, somebody better than me could certainly make it look very nice, but uh, I'm certainly going to give it a good try. Anyway, so that's uh, so that's uh, Bandai versus Sukuda.